Hey everyone, welcome back to Radial Dynamics. If you watched our last video, you saw us test this trophy truck pump from How Performance on our test stand. Now this pump is based on a Saginaw heavy duty truck steering pump, and it's been modified by How to have an increased flow rate from the original factory settings. There's a flow control valve that's in the lower portion of the pump body down here, which as you saw in our last video, maintained a pretty constant flow rate of about seven to eight gallons per minute, even as we've varied the drive speed and the operating pressure of the system. What I wanna to do today is do the same, same demonstration using this aluminum trophy truck pump, also from HAL Performance, which is based on the same Saginaw model. The internals of this pump are exactly identical to the cast iron body, um, so it has a similar displacement, similar flow rate. The main difference is that this pump body doesn't include a flow control valve, so as we increase the motor speed, we're going to see the flow rate also increase from this pump, but it's going to maintain a steady flow rate even as we vary the pressure. Okay, now that we have the aluminum pump on the test stand and fired up, we can see that at idle, the flow rate was about the same flow rate that the cast iron pump was, uh, right in the ballpark of about seven to eight gallons per minute. But now when I speed up the motor, we're gonna see the flow rate increase. Well, we're now up to about 12 gallons per minute, which is about 50% higher than the maximum flow rate that the uh, cast iron pump put out. Like last time, the flow rate remains constant even as we vary the pressure. Now when I go up to full throttle, we'll see the flow rate continue to increase. We're currently about 15 gallons per minute. We're still not even quite at full throttle, so we're very close. Once again. So as you can see from that demonstration, even though these two pumps are based on the same Saginaw model, they have the exact same displacement and they move the exact same volume of fluid, the fact that this cast iron pump recirculates fluid internally limits the flow rate coming out the pump and that makes it easier to control throughout the entire operating range. Whereas the aluminum pump would be more like a traditional hydraulic pump including gear pumps which generally don't have any flow regulation. So as your RPMs increase, so does your flow rate, which causes increased pressure drop, it causes more heat, and it's generally going to be more taxing on your steering system. I hope you enjoyed learning more about pumps. For more steering tech, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Radial Dynamics. Thanks for tuning in.